Hello students, I am Sham Panchal from Takshashila Model Senior Secondary School. Uh, students, I welcome you all back to this platform and uh, today we are going to discuss chapter number 2 of the book The High and this is for class 9. Uh, students, let us now take a look at the title of the chapter that is The Sound of Music. This chapter, The Sound of Music, is actually divided into two parts. And both the parts deal with the aspects of music. And legendary musicians who achieved excellence in their respective fields. Students, the first part is about a young girl uh, who lost her hearing power. Despite of being deaf, she earned a name for herself, a position for herself in the field of music. The second part is about Ustad Bismillah Khan. Ustad Bismillah Khan who was a great Shehnai maestro. It was in 2001 that he was awarded with the India's highest civilian award that is the Bharat Ratna in recognition of his contribution to music. So students uh, thus we come to know that both the legendary musicians Evelyn Glenny and Ustad Bismillah Khan belong to the field of music and they uh, achieved excellence in this field. They also set examples for others, especially in case of Evelyn Glenny. Despite of being deaf, uh, she not only played xylophone but also set an example for others that uh, even uh, being disabled, even being physically disabled, it is uh, uh, nothing that can stop you in this world from fulfilling your dreams and achieving your potential. So students, uh, let us now move on to the explanation of part number one. So in this uh, lecture, we are going to discuss part number one, that is Evelyn Glenny listens to sound without hearing it. So as I told you just a moment ago that uh, we uh, will now <clears throat> consider the title of this part number one that is Evelyn Glenny listens to sound without hearing it. So uh, when I say Evelyn Glenny listens to music, listens to sound without hearing it, uh, doesn't it look very old? Doesn't it sound very old? Yes. How is it possible that a person who has no hearing capability, who has no hearing power can listen to sound? It is not possible, but it has been made possible by the untiring efforts of Evelyn Glenny. She made it possible for herself and not only for herself but for others by setting up an example that uh, even being physically disabled there is nothing that can stop you from doing uh, what you are expected to, from fulfilling your dreams. So uh, students here in this chapter Evelyn Glenny uh, learns uh, to sense the sound, to sense music not through her ears but through other parts of her body. And this is what we are supposed to read in this chapter about Evelyn Glenny. We will uh, read about uh, her journey uh, uh, from the beginning till the end. Uh, we will also come to know how actually she uh, uh, got this uh, uh, physical disability of not having the power of hearing. As well as uh, it, uh, at uh, what period of time, at what point of time uh, it was confirmed that she was deaf. So uh, we will find the question, uh, we will find the answers of these questions in this chapter. So get ready for the explanation. Students, I have written a few points on the board. Let us take a look at the board. Here, as usual, I have just written a few important vocabulary words. Then there is... Uh, the characters, there are three characters in this chapter, Evelyn Glenny, the uh, young Scottish girl who lost her hearing power at a very young age. And the second character, Isabel Glenny, is her mother. And third character, Ron Forbes, he is uh, the percussionist who uh, observed potential in young Evelyn Glenny. And uh, he taught her how she could actually sense music through different parts of her body instead of her ears. So uh, <clears throat> students, uh, after that there is points to be discussed. So there are four points that I have written on the board. I hope uh, uh, after we have taken a discussion of these four points, 
this chapter will be done completely especially part number one I'm talking about here so uh, students let us now uh, move to the discussion to the explanation of the chapter part one the part one chapter begins uh, with the scene of a platform a platform where Evelyn Glennie is standing she uh, is about 17 years of age at that time and uh, she <clears throat> is waiting for a train to arrive the train which will lead her take her to London and uh, why does she want to go to London she wants to go to London because she has got admission in the Royal Academy of Music in London. Actually, it was uh, since the very early age that Evelyn Glennie uh, was very fond of music. She always wanted to make music her life. She wanted to make a career in music. So she, uh, by the age of 17, she uh, decided to go to London to learn music. Uh, the Royal Academy of Music is a very prestigious institute in London. It is especially for music. So uh, students, Evelyn Glenny was waiting for the train to arrive and she was both nervous and excited. Why was she nervous? She was nervous because she belonged to Scotland. Scotland is a country in Europe. And Scotland is not very fast in comparison to uh, England, London. She uh, belonged to Scotland, which is, uh, uh, which is a very, uh, which is an area full of farms and uh, it is a countryside, right? So in comparison to uh, the uh, highly uh, sophisticated life of London, it is a very uh, rural place, we can say. So uh, such a girl uh, from such a uh, background was moving to London to learn music. That is why she was quite nervous. Uh, we can uh, hear there is a word daunting. This word is used in the chapter that it is quite daunting. Uh, it is uh, daunting enough for a girl from uh, a Scottish farm. Daunting here means frightening, uh, uh, very frightening, uh, very uh, unusual we can say. So uh, then there is a word jostle, jostle. Uh, when Evelyn Glennie is standing at the platform and she's waiting for the train to arrive there is a huge crowd the people are trying to get their way and they are jostling each other in order to make way uh, for themselves ahead so jostle here means to uh, push somebody in order to make way and uh, get ahead then there is daunting daunting means very frightening very unpleasant uh, and uh, so uh, students here we have uh, just discussed uh, where Evelyn Glennie was going and uh, how actually uh, she was feeling at the station, uh, at the platform, sorry. So uh, students, she was feeling excited, excited because it was her dream to become uh, the world's, uh, one of the greatest musicians and uh, she was going to fulfill her dream. She, she, she was having the opportunity this time and that is why she was quite excited about her career, about her dream to become a musician. Students, let us now move on to the explanation of point number one. Point number one says, Evelyn lost her hearing at a young age. Uh, students, it is mentioned in the chapter that Evelyn Glennie lost her hearing power at a very young age. It is uh, Evelyn, Evelyn's mother, Isabel Glennie, uh, who recalls an incident. Uh, it was uh, when Evelyn Glennie was just eight years old. Uh, she was uh, waiting for her turn to play piano. When her name was called, she did not respond to it. It was when Evelyn's mother, Isabel Glennie, became doubtful. She became doubtful that Evelyn was perhaps not able to listen to sound. Or she had difficulty in listening to sounds. So, as uh, students, uh, for a few years, uh, Evelyn Glennie tried to hide her a physical disability that she was not so sharp in listening sounds from her friends and teachers but it is at the age of 11 uh, when she uh, her marks uh, were not very good she was uh, 
or giving a very bad performance. And uh, Evelyn's headmistress called her mother Isabel Glennie. And uh, she told Evelyn, uh, Isabel Glennie to take uh, uh, Evelyn Glennie to some specialist. When uh, Isabel took Evelyn Glennie to some specialist and there it was confirmed that Evelyn had completely lost her hearing power and that she was deaf. The doctor also suggested uh, Isabel Glennie to use some hearing aids as well as send Evelyn Glennie to the school of deaf. This was actually a dark day for Evelyn Glennie and she exclaimed, she said that uh, uh, everything uh, became dark. Everything became dark. Uh, Evelyn says this because uh, she had high hopes for herself. She wanted to make a career in music and uh, she wanted to learn it. She uh, wanted to pursue her dream of becoming a musician and uh, when she came to know, when she realized, uh, when it was confirmed that she was completely deaf and could not respond to the sounds, uh, she thought that her career before it began came to an end. And that is why she said that everything blanked out. So uh, students here, we came to know that uh, she tried to hide her disability from her friends and uh, teachers. But finally, when she was 11 years old, it was confirmed that she was deaf. So then there is the point number two. She did not give up hope and never looked back. So uh, when it was confirmed that Evelyn Glennie was deaf, she could not listen to sound. She could not respond to sound. What happened? Uh, she was determined to lead a normal life. She was determined to lead a normal life like uh, some other person. Uh, she also uh, wanted to achieve her potential that was to become a musician. And for, uh, in order to fulfill her dream, uh, uh, she did not give up hopes. And she never looked back. It was uh, one day she was... Uh, she, she just noticed a girl who was playing xylophone and uh, then she also decided that she would also play that xylophone. It was Ron Forbes, uh, the percussionist, who noticed potential abilities of Evelyn Glennie. Ron Forbes, the percussionist. Who is percussionist? Percussionist is a person who plays uh, tabla or drum tabla or drum so uh, Ron Forbes uh, was a percussionist he uh, observed that Evelyn Glennie uh, was quite interested in music and that she was making efforts so uh, he helped Evelyn Glennie and we will come to know how he actually helped Evelyn Glennie to listen to sound uh, uh, besides the percussionist Ron Forbes all her teachers, most of her teachers especially, discouraged her. It was only Ron Forbes, it was only Ron Forbes, the percussionist, who encouraged her. And in order to help uh, Evelyn Glennie to uh, recognize sounds, listen to sounds, sense sound, what did he do? Uh, he actually uh, told Evelyn Glennie to sense music from other parts of her body rather than her ears and uh, in order to make her realize that she could sense music through various parts of her body he started by tuning to large drums by beating to large drums and he uh, advised Evelyn Glennie to try to listen to the sound through other parts of her body it is later Evelyn Glennie tells that she was able to listen to the high pitched sound of the drum beating uh, above the waist and the low pitched sound below the waist. So uh, this uh, move of uh, the percussionist Ron Forbes played a significant role in Evelyn Glennie's life. It is uh, because of this encouragement, because of this uh, 
uh, support because of this assistance, help that Ron Fox gave to Evelyn Glenny. Evelyn Glenny started sensing music, sound through various parts of her body. It is uh, later in the chapter, Evelyn Glenny says that music pours in through various parts of her body. Uh, it uh, flows through every part of her body. She is unable to listen to uh, the sounds through her ear, but she can sense it through every part of her body. Evelyn's success chiefly depended on sheer determination and hard work. Students, she was a real workaholic. She was a true workaholic. A workaholic is a person who never feels tired. So she was a tireless person. Uh, students, it is later in the chapter we come to know that she traveled to the United Kingdom with a youth orchestra. Orchestra is a group of musicians. So with a youth orchestra, she first traveled to the United Kingdom. And there, what she did, she joined the Royal Academy of Music, which is situated in London. She auditioned for it and she was selected. I mean, she uh, was given admission. It was uh, that she scored the highest marks in the history of the academy. At the end of a three years course, she was the one who received almost all the top awards at the academy. So uh, students, here we come to know that Evelyn Glennie did not give up hope. She never looked back. Here, Evelyn senses music. Let us now here discuss this point. Evelyn senses music. How does actually Evelyn sense music, right? Uh, you just imagine if a person uh, does not have the hearing power, if a person's hearing uh, is totally impaired, how he or she can respond to the external sound, the uh, sound, right? How, how is it possible? Students, we come to know that Evelyn Glenny tried to overcome the hurdles, the problems that came her way. And she learned the art of sensing music through various parts of her body. Uh, students here, uh, Evelyn Glenny explains, she tells that music is something that pours in through every part of her body. She says that it tingles uh, in her skin. Tingles, tingles here means, uh, tingles means creates a sensation, creates a sensation. So music is something that tingles in her skin means it creates a sensation in her skin, in her cheekbones and in her hair. She says that whenever she's playing a xylophone, uh, she can sense the sound uh, passing through the stick into her fingertips. The second scenario that she talks about is that whenever she listens to the sound of drum beat, she does what? She just leans against the drum and she tries to sense the sound that flows into her body. And the third situation that she talks about, she says that whenever she is on a wooden platform, she does what? She just takes off her shoes. She removes her shoes and she does this in order to sense the uh, vibration. Vibration that pass through her bare feet and reach her lags. So uh, students here we come to know that this is the way she tries to sense the music. She tries to feel the music through uh, various parts of her body using various ways. She here tells us that she can sense music not only through her skin but through her hair also. So uh, students with this uh, uh, point number three and Evelyn senses music. Now we uh, move on to the explanation of point number four. Evelyn and inspiration. Uh, students here, it is a fact, it is true that Evelyn uh, set an example for all the people with various physical disabilities. That because of being physically disabled, uh, because of being physically impaired, uh, there is uh, uh, there is a still <clears throat> hope and uh, it's not like the world has come to an end for them or the things have come to an end for them, right? So this story uh, of Evelyn Glennie is a motivational or an inspirational story. It gives us hope. 
especially to those people who are physically disabled they are uh, physically invalid or they are unable to listen to sound they are unable to see so Evelyn Glenny sets an example for them that uh, uh, that they uh, can I mean there is nothing that can stop them from uh, from achieving their goal from uh, fulfilling their dreams if they have what if they are determined and uh, they are hardworking if they have determination and if they are able to do uh, hard work so uh, they can fulfill their dreams and achieve whatever the goal they have set in their life so uh, students with this we come to an end with the explanation of this part number one of the chapter the sound of music in the next lecture we will discuss the part number two of this chapter the sound of music and the title of uh, part number two uh, is the Shehnai of Bismillah Khan. So students, till then, be happy, stay safe, stay home. Thank you.